Hey, welcome to Diversity in Cinema Academy. I'm Theta Catalan, and this is the place to be if you're an independent filmmaker, video creator, and screenwriter. So all this month, I've been dropping tips all about filmmaking for my Vlogmas series, 24 Filmmaking Tips Till Christmas. So this video is gonna be all about budgeting. Now, I've been mentioning budgeting quite a few times throughout this series because everything that you do has a direct impact on the budget. <laughs> so that's why it is really important because I can tell you how many filmmakers go into it not creating a well-defined budget only to find out that they don't have enough money to do the things that they do. And that's because they haven't really broken down the script, did research on how much certain things will cost and understand that you just can't just throw money at a situation because the more you throw money at a situation, you can slowly be pulling it from something else that you really need to do. And that's why it is really great to have a contingency budget. Now, I created a video all about the importance of having a contingency budget. So if you want to check that out, be sure to do that right here. So here's the deal about having a contingency budget. Usually it is about 10% of your budget, but the thing of it is if you keep throwing money at problems because you didn't account for it at the beginning when you was creating a budget, that is how you can quickly run out of money. So say for instance, if you had a budget for ultra low budget film, that's $100,000, then that means you only have $10,000 to put towards anything that pops up and believe me stuff will pop up and if you don't have any more money then you're going to have to start pulling from somewhere else but if you pull from somewhere else you have to do that smartly you can't just start just randomly you know like well i'm gonna just pull it from here and now you didn't run out of money and a piece of equipment that you needed or to be able to pay talent or to continue to pay your caterer or whatever things that come up you're not gonna be able to pay for it anymore so say for instance I've worked with someone who said he can tell when the the production company was running out of money because all of a sudden they didn't have the same caterer anymore they was going to pick up food from you know fast food restaurants they were starting to eat pizza or what have you so that's some signs of when the production is starting to have to tighten up on their budget. So here's another thing about budgeting. There's what they're called the above the line items and then there's the below the line items. Typically above the line items is everything to do with the producers, the directors, and the actors and their travel accommodations. So one of the things that a lot of people don't think about in when they're budgeting is the travel, how much that will take. And it does take a lot. So say for instance, you have to pay per diem, some get incidentals, then you may have to rent a car or you may have to get a car service to pick them up from their home to take them to the airport. And then you have to pick them up from the airport and then take them to the hotel. And you have to have, you know, the hotel itself. And so these things add up and th that's what you need to be thinking about when you are creating your budget because a lot of that stuff a lot of people kind of forget about and it really does impact the budget you know once you start making these negotiations with their you know lawyers or their talent agents this stuff start adding up and then some of them like say for instance if they have specialty diets or they need to stay in a certain location. And so you you didn't make this great deal with the hotel where you're going to have all the talent at. But they were like, nah, that ain't going to work for me. And so now you got to go and put them somewhere else. And so all of that is starting to, you know, eat into your budget. So that's why when you are creating a budget, you really need to put higher numbers than what you really hope to spend on a project. Because that gives you some room to negotiate. So create the budget with higher numbers, but negotiate to try to bring that down. Because believe me, like I said, there will be some snafus and you will have to start digging somewhere else to make payment okay so that's it those are my few little quick tips on budgeting honestly budgeting can be a total master class and so i just wanted to give you a few little pointers of things that you need to think about while you're creating your budget 
If you want to learn a little bit more about scheduling and budgeting, I do have lessons inside of my course, Leveling Up Your Film Business, that goes into further detail about creating your schedule and budget. So be sure to check that out. And tomorrow we will be talking about marketing. So I'll see you then. Hey, thanks for tuning in to my 24 filmmaking tips till Christmas. If you are enjoying this series, be sure to visit Diversity and Cinema Academy's website where they have a ton of resources there. If you're interested in leveling up your film business, you can check out my online course